So this is Excel 2011. And as you can see, I've created a little chart here, which just shows the sales and profit for five years from 2006 to 2010. Just made this up really quickly. And so what we can see, um, of course, we've got the ribbon, as mentioned before. And we can easily create a new feature called conditional formatting. So let me show you how this works. We select a set of values that we want to apply for the conditional formatting. Then you have all these different options. You can highlight rules that are less than or between a certain set of numbers or equal to. You can add top or bottom rules, data bars, color scales, or even icon sets for a certain set of rules that you define. So it's a great new feature in Excel. So let's try to highlight cell rules that are less than 20. And we'll highlight it. We can choose the fill color here or the text color. A light red fill will work fine. If I click OK, so the only cell highlighted here is 14 and this will work out great especially if you have a large amount of numbers and you want to see quickly which values are between certain numbers or greater than numbers so that's a great new feature in addition they've also added if we go into the charts spark lines which are small charts or graphs that show up in a single cell so let's say we take all of these numbers and we want to make a small column chart for this set of data to appear in cell G3. So we just select them all. We select column and we click G3 and then OK. Now you can see a small little chart appears right there. You can change the color for it. You can view more options for changing the color or you can define colors yourself. And then they've got some more options over here for defining more axes and etc. So that's a great new feature. We can apply this to the first row as well. So we just go to charts. Let's make a line smart line for this cell. And we place it right there. Click OK. And there you go. You got a little small little line for you to be able to quickly view and it's a great new feature in Excel. So let me now talk about some Office features that are available in all of the applications in Microsoft Office. If we look at the file menu we can easily share this to Microsoft's new Skydive or SharePoint features which are basically a sharing network that they created. Skydive is for personal users and SharePoint is more for businesses. So it offers a great new way to easily share your documents. Right now you need a Windows ID which you can create and be able to share these pretty easily. So that's pretty cool. In PowerPoint also I didn't mention but there's a way to broadcast your PowerPoint, your presentation, to a bunch of different users by easily creating a, a Windows account and easily broadcasting it to users who you allow to view. So it's pretty great new features in Office and now here are some more features that I didn't mention and also a special new review for a new application brought to Office Mac right now. Entourage is no more. As of 2011, Outlook is now the primary application by Microsoft for Mac and PC for accessing your emails, creating calendars, managing tasks, and all your contacts. So Outlook is basically you can import your um, e you can import your entourage account from a previous versions. It's very simple, and it's just better redefined. And now, finally, 
the Windows and Mac versions are now the same instead of having Windows have mm, Outlook and Mac having Entourage. It just makes much more sense this way. Who knows why they didn't do it before, but at least they did it now. So as you can see, all your emails appear in a list here. You can view it to the side. You can also change the arrangement to view the reading page pane at the bottom, just like you find in Apple Mail. And and you can organize your emails by category, very simple. You can look at your calendar and create events on the calendar and organize different calendars here. We can go back to mail. So basically, here's the different tabs, different options for organizing your mail, and you can even manage mailing lists, which are easier ways to send in for all for a bunch of users at the same time. And Microsoft has their My Day program, which manages tasks for your current day. So if you have any projects you have due, it also shows you the time currently, and if you have any tasks due, which you input right here. So basically, that's just a quick review of it. I'm not going to get into much detail, but basically, Outlook is redefined. In addition, there's some other minor features that are better. You can now view all your email accounts in one inbox instead of multiple ones. And th also, there are threaded views, which means when you click on a message and let's say you reply it a bunch of times, all those replies will appear on the same page instead of having to you having to navigate through different emails. So it just makes much more sense that they switch to Outlook instead of using an Entourage and I think this will provide many benefits for users. Especially when um, especially when merging between two computers a Mac and PC. The whole Office 2011 makes it much easier to merge between two computers and offers Documents will now look the same in both Windows and Mac, so this should be a good enhancement. So if you type up a Word document on your Mac computer and bring it over into Windows to continue editing, there will no longer be missing features like there were in 2008 or previous versions. You'll have all the same features in 2011 for Mac and 2010 for Windows. So it just makes much more sense that the way they did it this time. I think, and in addition, there are major speed improvements for all programs, which is an extreme benefit for users because 2008 was very slow. It took about half a minute to just open Word or PowerPoint for most users, and here you can notice it takes less than 10 seconds, so it's, it's a huge speed improvement that's definitely a major feature bump. So I'm gonna just list some of the other features that I may not have mentioned right here. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate this thumbs up.